Hello guys, this is your trusted weather forecast for a possibly major winter storm heading towards the Midwest in mid-ish December. This snowstorm is supposed to affect much of the Midwest, including Wisconsin, Minnesota, the Dakotas, Iowa, Illinois, parts of Michigan, and Ohio. This storm is expected to take place somewhere around December 10th to December 15th values could change and here the red line which is the low pressure system moving in there are two paths that it could take or at least two starting paths they do eventually merge into one line which is pretty high confidence that the path is going to follow this end line here but if it comes from the north down pathway this is what the forecast is scheduled for and this is what it's with. This forecast pairs with that line right there, the northern one going down. However, if it takes the southern one down, you should expect uh, less snow to the north and more snow to the south. We'll start up here by the Dakotas in Minnesota. In the Dakotas, far western Dakotas, there's ice all the way down here. So expect ice. Then there's isolated amounts of 1 to 3 and 3 to 6 inches. There is that little corridor right on the border of North Dakota and Minnesota, right there, where it's light, light blue, and it just stops to 3 to 6, so it's like, it is kind of hard to predict these things, but this is what we're aiming for right now. Moving over here to parts of the lake. 6 to 10 inches isolated, but it's mainly going to be 3 to 6 inches along the Lake Counties up there in Minnesota. So expect to see a good amount of snow there. Moving south into central Minnesota, we have a good region of 6 to 10 inches, which could affect Minneapolis and lots of travel impacts. There will be lots of travel impacts with this storm, especially in the ice regions and the 10 to 15 inch regions. Moving over here into Wisconsin and Illinois and parts of Iowa, you have 10 to 15 inch, you have a small 10 to 15 inch corridor going from eastern Iowa into far northwestern Illinois. And you have the 6 to 10 blob shaped thing here going into southeastern, no, not southeastern, southwestern Wisconsin. But southeast Wisconsin is supposed to get 3 to 6 inches of snow. And then down here into southern Indiana and southern Illinois, we have less than one to three inches. And there is this very small piece of ice down here, but it's mainly in this gray region over here. This gray region is supposed to be rain, so expect rain. And these gray regions in Michigan, uh, we don't know what's going to happen. Right now, the forecast is scheduled for literally nothing for these areas, but it could change. Over here into Ohio, uh, you have far western into central Ohio with less than one to three inches of snow. You have southeastern Ohio has ice. And then north Ohio, northern Ohio, has rain slash snow, so it's expected to be a mix, but we don't know what's going to be more, rain or snow. There could be more rain and there could be more snow. Again, we do not know that much information right now. So expect this storm, this major winter storm, to affect lots of traveling in early mid-December. And expect slippery roads, lower viewing conditions, and a solid foot of snow if you're in that 10 to 15 inch region. Keep in mind that in those dark blue 6 to 10 inch regions, there could be isolated amounts of above 10 inches, mainly in higher elevated areas, especially up here. There could be about 10 to 15 inches up there as well in the higher elevated areas. Here are the GFS models for those days. It starts, you can see the low pressure system starting to move in around December 9th. Again, we don't know the exact date it could change. You can see it's really heavy along the Iowa-Illinois border where that 10 to 15 inch region is. And you can see that massive band of pink and purple, which is ice. The purple is more sweet, but the pink is ice. 
and you can see it it's a very strong low pressure system too moving through expected to cover all of wisconsin and then you again you have that corridor of ice in illinois iowa parts of minnesota then you move through even more more ice this could be an ice storm for some areas mainly for long periods in that corridor and it's pretty heavy snow into ohio and I said Ohio, Northern Ohio is rain slash snow. This is because Northern Ohio turns into rain. It's heavy snow, then it turns into rain and ice. So that is kind of hard to predict. And you can see a Northern snowstorm up there swinging through the upper Michigan Peninsula and Northern Minnesota. But that's mainly going to affect Canada over there. Then you can see a rainstorm moving in later on. This is your trusted weather forecast. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and share this with your friends that live in these areas. This could be a major snowstorm. Back to the